We are back with a bit of carbon plated road shoe content on the channel today. And in the video, we are featuring the racier brother of these, the Endorphin Speed 4, the Endorphin Pro 4. Now, I was a massive fan of the previous version of this shoe, and it was one of my favorite carbon plated racers. It looks like there's been quite a few changes made this time round, and it's pretty much a brand new shoe from the ground up. Now, we've got a really good interval session planned for today's run to test these bad boys out. So let's dive into the video and find out how they perform. Welcome back everyone and thanks for tuning in to another video. I'm Lloyd Purvis and this is Run For Adventure. So Sokane's Endorphin Pro 4 is going to be the second carbon plated race day shoe that we've taken a look at this year. After testing out the new Fuel Cell Elite V4 from New Balance when we took on the challenge in Falmouth Half Marathon a few weeks ago. Now I enjoyed the performance of the shoe, it felt pretty good over those hilly 13.1 miles but I do think personally for me that the Endorphin Pro 3 outperformed it because the Elite V4 did feel quite heavy weighing in around 260 grams in a, a UK 10 which I thought was quite weighty for a race day shoe so it's going to be really interesting to see how these stack up against that New Balance shoe. Now when I tested out the Endorphin Speed 4 in the video I actually put them head to head with the previous version the Speed 3 and we're going to be doing a very similar thing in today's video with these. I think it's a great way of comparing the two different shoes but it also helps you to sort of refresh your memory on how that shoe felt and performed. Obviously, this is a brand new shoe straight out the box and these have done about 40 to 50 miles. So they are a bit more bedded in. So I'm going to be taking that into consideration. So before we go running, let's give you a few stats about the new Go Faster running shoe from Sockney. So first thing we need to talk about is price. Now, we all know that the running shoe world has gone carbon plated crazy and it's really driven the, the prices up and up and up. So you've already guessed it. This is not a cheap price point shoe. So they actually retail in the UK for £230. Uh, that's actually a very big increase of £20 when you compare it to the previous Endorphin Pro 3s. But it is £30 cheaper than the New Balance Fuel Cell Elite V4 we tested out the other week. Weight-wise, my pair in a UK 9.5 tipped the scales at 235 grams. We've got a stack height of 39.5 mil at the heel, 31.5 mil under the forefoot, giving the new Endorphin Pro a heel offset of eight millimeters. I've got my pair in this awesome looking bright orange and purple colorway, or as Sockany like to call it, Vizzy Orange. Now I'm a massive fan of orange running shoes and I personally think this color already makes the shoe look nice and quick. But if you do want something maybe a little bit less vibrant, a bit more subtle, they also offer it in an orange and white colorway. Uh, I really do think that our race day shoes should be bright. You know, they should be uh, exciting to look at, exciting to put on and lace up on race day because surely that already makes us a couple of seconds a mile quicker. Up top, we've got this very lightweight, highly breathable, single layered mesh upper construction. Uh, it's very soft and flexible. And if we take a closer look at the fabric, you can see it's got this sort of honeycomb design and it's almost see-through. So that should really help when it comes to sort of airflow, keeping your feet nice and cool when you're up in the pace and pushing hard whether it be in training or racing. Sockany have worked in their form fit technology to give you that sort of foot hugging secure feel. We've also got a, a very thin integrated tongue design which is covered in perforations again to help with breathability. Quite stripped back around the ankle collar and in the heel cup, so not a lot of padding or structure. You do get a little bit of substance from a very small heel cup. We got a bit of internal sort of structuring around that toe box, and we've got an anti-slip lace system just to make sure that that shoe stays nice and locked down around your midfoot throughout the duration of the race or your training session. Working down to this all important midsole setup and we get a deep stack of Sockney's performance driven foam Power Run PB. This is all about nice levels of comfort, efficiency and lots and lots of bouncy energy return. That's been paired up with their snappy speed roll geometry in that midsole. And then last but not least, we've obviously got their carbon fiber plate worked into that construction. Now Sockney claim that that carbon plate has been engineered for longitudinal stiffness and maximum metabolic efficiency. 
I have no idea what any of that means, but it sounds nice and fast. Inside the upper, we've got a new SRS sock liner, which is made from a blend of EVA and Power Run PB. If I push into it, it feels super plush and very bouncy. So that should give us a nice level of comfort close to the foot. Then if I flip the shoes over, we've got Sockinis XT900 blown rubber on all the high wear areas. We've got a very similar chevron tread pattern there as in the Endorphin Speed 4, just to give us good levels of grip in wet or dry conditions. So that is a bit of info about the very bright orange new Endorphin Pro 4. But before I lace these up and test them out, I'm going to be putting on the previous version, the Endorphin Pro 3s, and doing the first half of the run in these. Once we're out there, I'll tell you a bit more about the session that we're going to be doing in both shoes. But let's go and get changed, and we'll see you guys out on the roads of Cornwall. So the praying that I did at the end of our last video on the channel, hopefully we can get some sunshine in the next video on the channel has definitely worked because we've got glorious sunshine and blue sky for today's run, which is awesome. It's also great because I've just picked up a new pair of Sun God sunglasses for the summer months. It's the first time I've ran in a pair of their glasses with their sort of top spec lenses. So they're eight KO polarized lenses. I am super impressed. First impressions are really good. Very, very clear, no glare at all. So very happy with my new sunnies. So the plan for today's session is I'm just about to finish a two mile warm up, and then we're gonna go into six three minute reps at 10K pace with a one minute jog recovery in between. I think it's gonna be a great session to remind myself of how the old Endorphin Pro 3 used to feel and used to perform. Once we're done with that, we'll have a quick cool down, then we're gonna go home and change into the new version of the shoe and we're gonna replicate that session. So I suppose we better crack on and get these reps done. Okay, that is three of the reps done. Pretty tricky out here. We got a headwind one way, so probably doing one of the reps at about 6.15 and then the headwind rep at about 6.40. So it's gonna balance out somewhere along the way. But yeah, three more reps to go. But the shoes are feeling really good. It's been a long time since I've run in them. But they're kind of like how I remembered, you know, fits my foot like a glove. Lots of bouncy energy return from that power on PB and carbon plate midsole. So let's get these last three reps done. That is the first of the six reps done. And it was pretty tough going into that headwind, but the legs felt strong and it was really nice to turn the legs over quicker again. Shoes perform really well, but we got a little jog recovery back to the flat where we're gonna change the shoes. We're gonna get in the new Endorphin Pro 4s and then we're gonna do the same again. So let's get back to the studio. So that is the two mile warm up done in the new Endorphin Pro 4. First thing I'm noticing is just like the Pro 3, I'd say it's true to size. So this UK 9.5 fitting really well on length, just the right amount of sort of room in the toe box. But the upper does feel very different. So still a really nice lockdown around my midfoot, good hold in the heel, but feels a bit softer, feels a bit more flexible than the Endorphin Pro 3. That upper felt quite restricting, I think, whereas this has got a bit more give to it. And I think a lot of it comes down to that sort of stretchy, gusseted tongue. So warm up's done, now it's time for the six reps. So let's get out there, see how the midsole and the carbon plate performs in the new Endorphin Pro 4. Oh, 
Okay, that is the third rep done. Three more to go. Legs are definitely starting to feel it now. We're gonna have to hang on for the last three, but we've been averaging about 6.15, 6.30 minute mile in. And like I say, with a bit of a headwind, so I'm really chuffed with that. As far as the shoes going, well, this upper feels way more comfortable than the previous version. A lot softer, a lot more flexible across the midfoot there where the laces tie down. And it just feels a lot more forgiving, a little bit more breathable, but I still feel really well held in the shoe. And, you know, I didn't have a problem with the Endorphin Pro 3's upper. It did feel a bit stiff. It wasn't the most comfortable when it came to the tongue. So this is a big improvement. Okay, that is the one minute recovery done. The last three reps. Let's get them done. It was a great session and I got to run in the sunshine finally. It was so good to feel the warmth of the sun on my body and we managed to run 12.5 miles by the end of the session with a big chunk of that at 10k race pace. So really happy with how the run went and my body felt nice and strong, which is always a bonus. I think it was also a great way of comparing the old and the new Endorphin Pro. And I was actually really surprised with how different it felt running the two shoes back to back. I actually mentioned it out on the run that I personally think these uppers are night and day different. So popping on the Pro 4s after running in the Pro 3s kind of make me realize how dated this kind of upper design feels. And the fabrics used in it are definitely harsher on the foot, especially that tongue design in the Pro 3s. And you know, I never found this shoe uncomfortable, but Putting these on for the first time, they definitely feel a lot more comfy. It feels softer, more flexible, and it just felt like my feet could relax a lot more inside the upper compared to the previous version. I think a lot of that added level of comfort comes from this stretchy integrated tongue design. And if I'm honest, I wasn't sure about it in the first place, but as soon as I laced them up, it felt pretty good and it just improved throughout the run. Gave me a really good lockdown around my midfoot, but it didn't work loose while I was running, so stayed nice and secure throughout the session, which is always a bonus. And it just felt more comfortable across the top of my foot. I personally think every aspect of this new upper in the Endorphin Pro 4 is better when it comes to comfort. So ankle collar, heel cup, tongue design, and toe box, you know, it just gives you a, a more comfortable, more plusher, and more flexible, relaxed feel. There was also quite a different feel underfoot from this new plated midsole design. And the first thing I noticed when I started running in the Pro 4s was it didn't quite feel as bouncy as the Pro 3s, but not in a negative way, in a positive way. So I was still getting lots of energy return, but it was feeling like that energy was really propelling me forward and none of it was being wasted. Where as when I was running in these in the first half of the session, just felt like I was sinking into that midsole a little bit more. So just felt like the Endorphin Pro 4 was giving me a little bit more pop and a little bit more spring to my stride. That must come down to the addition of Power Run HG. So the top of this midsole has got a new blend of Power Run, Power Run HG, and Socony claim that this is lighter, springier, and will give you more rebound. And that's kind of exactly how it felt out there on today's run. But I also think it aids with stability. So quite often when I run in these sort of deep stack carbon plated race day shoes, they can feel unstable at times, especially if you're running on a tight, twisty route with lots of corners. You can see out there that it was a lovely day in Cornwall and the, the holidays are still taking place here in the UK. So it was very, very busy. And I did spend a lot of the session sort of bobbing and weaving through people as I went. And I personally think because of that firmer top part of the midsole for a bouncy race day shoe, the Endorphin Pro felt pretty stable and nice and connected. 
So wrapping up after my first run in the latest version of Sockinus Performance Trainer, and I've got to say that I've been really impressed with all the changes that the brand have made. You know, I mentioned at the beginning of the video that I really enjoyed the feel and the performance of the previous version, the Pro 3, but I really do think this is noticeably better in every way. This new, light, breathable, very comfortable upper design really does give you that sort of no-shoe feel when you're running. Whereas, I definitely noticed I had these on my feet when I was out there doing in a session or a race. I think the addition of this SRS footbed adds a nice level of plushness close to your foot and it felt great out there today. So I'd say if you're looking for a marathon day shoe, this new very comfortable upper design is going to offer you a lot more comfort over that 26.2 mile distance. And even though the midsole performance was pretty good in the old Endorphin Pro 3s today, you know, it was good to lace the shoe up again and push it hard in a tough session. You know, Saucony really have taken performance up a notch in the latest version. They just felt snappier. I was getting more pop from this midsole when I was pushing hard in those reps. We've obviously got the great speed roll technology paired up with that signature S-curved carbon fiber plate worked into that midsole. So they really did feel efficient throughout the session. I think the added bonus of a bit more underfoot stability from that new blend of Power Run HG. There was a couple of times where I was pushing hard around some tight corners and the shoes really did make me feel a, a lot more confident when it came to my footing. Obviously, these are just my initial thoughts after today's run, but it really does look like Sockany have gone and done it again. Uh, I was a massive fan of the updated Endorphin Speed 4s after I tested it on the channel, especially after the disappointment for me of the Endorphin Speed 3s. But it looks like they've made a, a shoe that I really enjoyed running in even better in my eyes. I think it would have been a lot better if there hadn't been a big £20 price increase here in the UK. At £210, the Endorphin Pro was already an expensive running shoe. Now retailing at £230, it is a very, very expensive option. I mean, the crazy world of the current running shoe market. How times have changed. So that brings another first impressions video to an end here at the channel. Really hope you enjoyed it. Really hope you found it helpful. Don't forget if you did to like, comment, share and subscribe if you haven't already because it really is a massive help to the channel. Uh, it'd also be great to get your thoughts guys. So if you really enjoyed the previous version, the Pro 3s, and you've just gone out and purchased a pair of the new Pro 4s, then let us know your thoughts in the comments below. But for now guys, thanks for watching. It's really appreciated. We'll be back on the channel very soon, and as always, stay safe and keep on running. Put it head to head with the previous version, the Speed 3s. Uh, we're going to be doing a severe. I've got my pair in this awesome looking, very bright and, and awesome. <laughs> but if you do want something that's a, a bit more subtle, a little bit less vibrant, then it also is available in a white and or, 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 <laughs> kind of giving me uh, a lot of energy return, but that energy was being used to propel me forward and none of it was being wasted. Whereas, 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 whereas.